In this video, I'm going to review a desk lamp that is perfect for when you're painting at home, on the road, and it'll cost you less than £10. Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. So I thought I'd do something a little bit different today for my Monday video, and I'm going to do a review of uh, a painting lamp that I bought recently, and, and I, I've been so impressed with it, I thought it probably deserved a review, and I'll put a link down in the description below to where you can go and buy one. So, without further ado, let's have a look at it. So here we have it folks, it is a portable, rechargeable uh, desk lamp. But because it is LED lights, the light is very white, so it's perfect for, for painting. So what we've got here is, this is how it stands basically when it's, uh, when it's not switched on. And it can just be, it's quite sort of, it's very slim in that direction. Doesn't take up a lot of space on your desktop either. So perfect for when you don't have a lot of space. Then basically what we do is we open it up here. So you can angle this, it can go, uh, let's just tilt it that way. You can angle it right all the way up. So you can have it um, sort of facing you if you're doing something slightly bigger. I also use these sometimes as face lights when I'm making these videos. So it's perfect for getting a little bit of light quite close. Um, or you can just angle it down so that when it's, when it's on your desk, you're getting a good cover there. And basically what we have is we have a little sort of uh, touch switch here um, and I'll tip it that way so you can see the light. It has three settings, so that's the first one. Doesn't give off a lot of light, uh, not for painting anyway, but I'll come on to that in a second. Touch it again, there's a second light and then the third one is the brightest. Doesn't show up great in this video, but trust me, it is more than bright enough for painting. And it's also perfect because, let me just show you, it comes with a USB cable, so you can charge it up and it's portable. So this is perfect for me personally, because when I'm traveling, if I want to do a little bit of painting while I'm on the road, sort of away with work, I can charge this up and take it with me. I don't need to be sitting at a, a desk near where there's a plug or carrying around sort of bulbs that will uh, could potentially break in my bag. This packs up really small, it just uh, tucks away. Uh, it's also great as a little kind of bedside light as well. So even if you're, um, you know, you want to read your latest Horace Heresy book in bed and your partner doesn't, uh, doesn't want the light on, this is actually quite a nice little bedside light as well. These cost £8.99 you can pick them up on Amazon. As I mentioned before, there'll be a link to, in the description down below um, so you can see the exact one that I got. And I was so impressed with them, I actually went out and bought a second one as well. I'll show you kind of how I use them in my setup. So this is my painting station that I got from uh, the XLC. Absolutely uh, pleased as punch with this. I've not, I've not really done a video on this actually. I, pro I probably should for anyone that's interested, but nice little painting station. I, again, I can take this away with me. It sits on my desk at home as well. A couple of little spaces down the sides for, to somewhere where I can hold my paints. And there's some holes in these points where you can put your brushes as well. But what I tend to do is I will set these up just on the corner of my desk, just like this. And that way they just get nice and light on the area where I'm working here. They're obviously not showing up great on camera, but uh, yeah, trust me, they, they, do, they do a perfect job. You can even just pop them off to the sides there as well and just tilt them up. Yeah, they really do an excellent job. So these are the lights. Like I say, uh, they are £8.99. Uh, really, really good. The charge lasts for quite some time on them, actually. I was quite surprised with just how good the, the battery was in them. And what I would say was, if you are just sitting at home or you're sitting sort of somewhere where you've got access to a socket, popping the cable in and putting them on um, sort of from the mains does give this a, a slightly brighter glow as well at, at maximum. These are not charged up very much at the moment. Uh, they need charging, so this isn't as sort of the brightest setting you'll get. But yeah, if you're sitting somewhere at home um, next to a socket, Pop them in, you can plug them into your, into your laptop or something like that, with them being USB, so they'll charge from that, and that'll power your lights as well. But really, really good addition. If you're not lucky enough to have a kind of a fixed place where you paint all the time, and you have to keep packing things away, um, these are perfect for that. And as I mentioned in my top five tips video about how to paint, or top five tips for, for, paint, for painting miniatures, having a, a white light, of which these LED lights are, is really, really helpful for getting your colors right. And it's really helpful for just sort of taking the strain off your eyes as well. The last thing you want to be doing is sort of sitting on the sofa 
um, or sitting next to your, to your wife on a dining room table or a kitchen table, painting in really dim light because you will strain your eyes and you will pick some strange colours if you're not painting under a kind of a daylight bulb or, or a whiter light. For the price, these are um, a great buy. Heartly recommend them. Click the link down in the description. That'll take you to Amazon where you can see the ones that I bought. Excellent product. So that's it, folks. Um, yeah, great little piece of kit. Perfect for packing away when you kind of have to clear away all of your painting stuff at the end of a painting session. Perfect for taking on the road with you as well if you travel and do a little bit of hobbying while you're away. So thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.